What's up collectors, Benny here back with another video. Thank you for tuning into the channel. I hope that you are having an awesome day today so far. I am in my comic and game room right now. I have some comics that I want to put away that I just got in and I just realized I have a little bit of a problem. Now I know what you're thinking, I have a buying problem and I probably do have that too, but my bigger issue is that I got this stack of comics in and I don't know where they go. All right, so before I go ahead and get into how I'm gonna solve my issue, let's at least run through these pickups real quick. So first off, I have the Alex Ross Virgin Wraparound cover for Masters of the Universe. I already have a couple of these books, but I'm never gonna be upset to have another one in the collection. All right, so next up we have issues one through six of He-Man Thundercats. Let's go through these individually so we can check out the covers. All right, here we have issue number one, issue number two, I like this cover a lot. All right, here is issue number three. We got Skeletor going wild on this one. Issue number four, another really cool cover. Here is issue number five. This one might actually be my favorite cover from the set. And issue number six. So He-Man Thundercats one through six. Big shout out to CVM Comics for hooking me up with this set. All right, the next book is one that I've been hunting for for so long. He-Man, The Eternity War, issue number 10. This awesome Skeletor cover. I actually had one claimed on Instagram, but the seller canceled it on me. Not really sure why. And I've never been able to find another copy that's in high grade or for a good price. So I was very excited when I was able to snipe this one off eBay. Super excited to have this one in the collection. All right, and then the last Masters of the Universe book that I picked up was Masters of the Universe issue 13 from the original Star Comics run. This one, I feel like I never see for sale, so I was really happy I was able to grab this one. This is a run that I'm trying to complete. I think I need about four more issues, so I'm gonna be super excited once I can master that run. All right, so those were some really awesome pickups. I wanna put them away now, but my issue is that I have six BCW plastic short boxes in my room, and while the contents of the boxes are organized, I have no way of telling what's in each box. So I know that one of these three boxes has my Masters of the Universe comics in it. And then I had a big idea, not even a big idea. I said, why am I being so dumb? Why don't I just make a label for the front of each of these boxes? And then I realized that they already have grooves to slide a card in. So there's two different ways that you can go about this. You can go about it the easy way and most efficient way, or you can be a little bit more technical. If you just want them labeled and you want it done fast, all you need are some note cards and a Sharpie. So all you would have to do is grab an index card, place it vertically, and then write or draw whatever title or descriptions you want for that box. And the best part is all you have to do is slide it in the grooves and it fits perfectly. Now, if you have a computer or an iPad and you wanna take your designs to the next level, I can definitely show you how to get set up and do that. This isn't going to be a full-blown design tutorial, but I'll at least show you how to get some of these made. Now that we're on the computer or your iPad, the first thing that you want to do is open up the design program of your choice. I'm using Adobe Illustrator, but you can use whatever you want as long as you can make a rectangle and drag images in. So first off, what we want to do is make a rectangle and we want it to be 3 inches by 5 inches. I always change the color to transparent and then the stroke I like to go to 0.3 so we have a little bit of an outline. So now you have what looks like a nice black box. Now when it comes to designing these you can go as crazy or as simple as you want. I'm just going to show you a quick way that you can get a comic cover to label your comic boxes. Now that I have this rectangle made I'm going to show you a website called Cover Browser. Some of you might know about this already, but it's a database of different comic covers. So we're just going to type in Spider-Man, maybe. And we'll pull up the first one, issue number 100. I'm just going to drag this image to my desktop. And then from my desktop, I'm going to drag it into Illustrator. So now that we got the image in the design program that we want, we need to move it behind the black box. So in Illustrator, all you're going to do is right click, you're going to hit arrange and then send to back. A lot of design programs have this, it might just be called something different, but arrange, send to back. Now that it's behind the box, you want to resize the image so everything that you want showing is within that black box. It might not be perfect, but it'll get the job done. 
All right, so now that I got this kind of how I want it, I'm gonna select both images and I'm gonna hit right click and hit make clipping mask. And there we go. Now we got a Spider-Man cover in a three by five printable document. And if you don't have the ability to make a clipping mask, all you have to do is make sure that the artwork that you want showing is within that black box. And then when you print it out, you can just cut around it. So now that I got my Spider-Man image ready to go, I'm gonna hit print. All right, so we got our image printed. Let's go cut it up. And then once you print out your image and get them cut out, he should slide in just perfectly. And that looks a million times better. All right, so now that I know that that works, I'm gonna design some for me and I'll show you what they look like. All right, so that took a lot longer than I thought, but I did come up with four designs. I have Doctor Strange, one with my logo, Masters of the Universe, and of course, Alex Ross. Let's get them printed and see what they look like. All right, so two quick pro tips that I forgot to mention. The first one, print on cardstock if you can. You can definitely use regular paper, but cardstock is gonna be a little bit easier to work with, and it's just gonna hold up longer over time. The second is use a paper cutter. You can definitely use scissors. It's gonna take a little bit more time, but if you want the cleanest, straightest edges, find a paper cutter. So I think that these came out absolutely amazing. I'm super happy with the results. Definitely a nice way to organize and spice up your BCW plastic short boxes. I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched this video, especially if you got to this point right here. I know I've never made a video quite like this before. And just to say thank you for you watching and all the subscribers over the last two years on my comic journey. I made a template with some Marvel and DC tags for your short boxes. I'll put a link in the description. All you have to do is download and print them and you can tag your Marvel and DC boxes. All right, so that's gonna do it for me today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and drop me a like. Also comment down below and let me know what your favorite tip is for your comic collection. And if you're into comic books, video games, cards, and other collectibles, consider subscribing to the channel to join me on my collecting journey. Also, there's a Discord link in the description down below as well if you want to chat on Discord. But until next time, may the comic gods bless your back issue bins, may all your pulls be fire, and I will see you in the next video.